Next couple of jobs to do on the Titanic. Firstly, the uh, yellow line that goes all the way down the hull. So what I've done is I've got my one mil masking tape and uh, I've masked up the bottom lip of the white painted rail and the white painted superstructure and then the other the other strip of the one mil tape I've put that on the top rim of the hull. So the line is going to be two mil wide, one mil on the white and one mil on the black rim of the um, hull. So I put I did the uh, both strips of the tape, let it settle for a couple of hours. Then I got my future, which I put some in a pot, and just brushed in the middle to seal those two edges. And then with my number 24 trainer yellow, I've now put the fuss coat down. All the way down. While I'm waiting for that to dry, I then decided to work on the... Um, the top stacks of the uh, smoke stacks, the little chimney pots, whatever you want to call them. Um, I put some blue tack around the, the inside of the rim because there's a just below that blue tack, there's like a mountain ridge for that uh, square like vent thing that goes on the top. I also put some blue tack on the bottom, as you can see, the bare plastic of the black, and I just spray painted that with a primer. And then I've got 16 lifeboats. So what I've did is I've put E28, which is the cover, on top of E29, which is the actual lifeboat itself, 16 times. I'd already primed, I've, I'd already spray painted the uh, lifeboats and the covers on the spoon. I just cut them off and then just put them together with the glue. Once the glue's set, I then painted my number 41 Humbrol which is like an ivory stroke off white for the lifeboat covers, all 16. And I've done two coats so far. There's probably going to need a th one more coat of that. And that's where I'm sitting at the moment. Over the last couple of days, well, last week, um, I've been doing a lot of work on the Titanic. So I'll start with the folks. As of the... Last update, well, one of the updates on the previous video with the um, rails, you can see that I've done all that work. I've put the stairs in, quite easy to put in. I've also put the cranes in. Um, I've also put the, the front handrail in there, and there's some uh, rigging that's gone underneath that section there. As it says on the plans, you put um, you get your thread, which is L, which is 34 centimeters, which is two pieces, so it comes up onto the um, mast. So you put those in first, and I glued that down. Then I put D23 into place and glued that down. Um, and like I said, I've put the cranes in. You know about that. Um, where's the rails one and then you've got the rails as well which you know about as well so the only thing I've got to really do is do all that with the mast and the rigging um, I've also got to rig the cranes as well so I painted them in the painted the tops in the grey which is that um, sovereign models grey I've also done the bottom part of the crane in the uh, 36185 orange I just mashed that off around the top and uh, put some flash around the edges and that painted the orange on and it sealed it quite nice no paint bleed at all so like I said all I've got to do is just uh, rig the cranes up so that's the folks all done over to the stern um, First thing, I've put the uh, the rear railing in, which is D22. Then I put the raised platform in, and like I said, it's gone into. You got that little arm there. There's a, there's like a channel underneath the actual um, raised platform, and I had to bend that out slightly to get that to go into the channel. But it's looking nice. 
like I said from the previous update. Then I did um, the cranes, I've glued those in, but I haven't put any orange on the bottoms, of the, the upper deck ones, I've just left them in the white. I've also put the railings in, as per the plans, D18, D19, D18, so I've done all that, and the cranes. Um, I haven't put the flagpole in yet, I'm going to pretty much leave that till last. Um, just trying to get this bloody camera to focus. Um, I'll put the cranes in. You can probably just see the orange bit there. Much rinse and repeat on the folks. Or just put some tape around the top. Sealed it with a future. Painted that um, orangey brown on dead easy. Put the steps into place now. And they're not looking too bad. And you've got the steps here. That leads up to the uh, bottom deck. Um, you've got this railing here. Which goes all the way around as per the plans. Got to pause it a sec. So I go into the plans. It's this raised bit here, the, the, the handrails there. So you've got D11 and D12 for the other side. You've got D2 there and you've got D2 there. And it's like a triangular bit there. So you've got the D2, then you've got the D11 and the D12, and then you've got the D2 again. I've also put the cranes on the middle deck. I've just painted on the top with the grey. I've left that in the painted white when I sprayed them on the sprue. So I've got that there and that there on the other side. Um, quite easy to get underneath that deck because I thought it was going to be the same as those, but it wasn't because there's plenty of deck clearance. And like I said, all I've got to do is rig the cranes on the stern and the bow. And that's it for the stern. Right, putting the lifeboats and Davids into place now. Front and rear of the boat deck. Quite easy to put on. Um, as per the plans, I'll just turn that round. Whoops. I don't think that's done any harm to business. I think it's all right. So it tells you, um, you start with the E12 on the right side I think it was and then you get E13 for the left so you just put a davit in then a lifeboat just glue those on there to those little raised bits and then you glue a davit then a boat the davit then a boat then a davit then a boat and you just and that's the uh, front boat deck and that's for the rear boat deck both sides dead easy indeed um, with the number 41 which is that ivory stroke off white Again, I put three coats on. I've got to mat these because the camera's probably picking up that they're not they're shiny, so I've got to mat them. I've also got a wire. I've also got a wire. I've also got to rig up the davits. I haven't done that yet, but they're not looking too bad now. In the little holes, just for the davits, in the little holes, there's like square holes underneath each davit, and there's like a little mounting peg on the bottom. Not all of them, but some of them I've had to take a bit off that mounting peg because it wouldn't go in the hole. So once I took that bit off, it just went in, test fitted it first. Once I realised it fit, then I glued it in. So that's not looking too bad either, the boat deck. Not bad at all. Right, going back to the uh, stern section. This is the top of the boat deck at the rear. You can see that there's no railing. That goes there. Now going back to the uh, stern deck railing instruction page. When it tells you to put the cranes in all the ladders and everything else. You can see there's a diagram for the top rear boat deck for the rails. But there's no numbers, there's no parts for that rail. None at all. Um, now here's my D-sprue, what's left of it. It's all empty, apart from that one there, which is D42. And it tells you at the back of the instructions that it is a spare. So basically what Academy have done, 
for this 98 kit, there's no rear boat deck railing. It's not missing, they just haven't put it in the kit. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to go over to my computer. Oh, excuse me. And just press the space bar on my computer. This is the reissued one from a few years ago, the kit number 14215. Now, there's the bit, there's the part numbers for the deck. For the deck railing, for the rear of the boat deck. So you've got D30, you've got uh, D21, D26. It's all there. But like I said, putting my standing my instructions up, if they'll stand up, you can see the difference. On mine, there's no part numbers, but on the reissued one, there is. So Academy, in their infinite wisdom for the 98 kit, have decided, oh, we don't need a rail for the uh, rear of the boat deck. Because even on the box art, you can see that the you know the the person that they've commissioned to build this there ain't no deck on there either no deck no deck railing for the rear boat deck stupid or what right well, turning the camera around i've been in contact with backman in the uk which is the uk supplier of academy kits and i spoke to a lovely lady called nicola and she says we might be able to get the the rails for you off the reissued kit but it's going to take anything up to six months because we've just had a stock order four spare parts and four model kits and we're not planning to uh, order anything soon so i've got a she said we can get you the parts but you're gonna to have to wait so i'm not going to wait six months so in the meantime i've decided to have a go at uh, making my own makeshift uh, boat deck rail so going over to my table, I've made it out of some picture wire. And it's the same picture wire that I used for the ATAP build to suspend the snow speeder. And after all these years, the snow speeder hasn't drooped or nothing, it's still holding it. So sitting down, there's my makeshift rail. So what I did is I straightened some of that um, picture wire on the roll molded it to the rear boat deck in one piece as you can see by the shape and then what I did is I cut a bit more of that um, picture wire and just made me little stanchions and glued, glued them on with super glue let that dry and then I got some of my food toys melted that plastic off and I've done two rails on the underneath. I didn't do that in one piece because it wasn't long enough. So I just did the front fascia first. And then just a little L shape. Round that corner bend for those two. I've also primed it. And I don't know how well the camera's picking up. But you can still see some of the excess super glue that I've got to try and get off. I've got most of it off. There's just little bits of stragglers that I can't get off unfortunately. But I'm going to try and have another go. So now I'm just going to mount this to the back of the uh, boat deck, but I can't do it one-handed. Right, I've now test fitted it onto the um, back of the boat deck. Now it ain't perfect. I mean, it's out of place compared to the railing that you get with the kit. But it's going to have to do for now. Oh dear. Um, I'm sorry for this bloody five-minute explanation of a bloody rear boat deck rail but I, I, th I just had to tell you about it that's all